Yo guys and welcome to yet another video on my channel. Today hopping straight into yet another Rust base design. Now today's base design, I wanted to design a bunker that had a lot of storage room in it so you could fit all your good gear in there without any worries and even most of your gear if you really want to. Also with the design that you could actually create this straight off the bat, you don't have to wait until you've got loads of materials to do this. You can build the bunker and then expand it as you go, which is the final design that I come up with. And even the final design I came up with, you can still expand off that since it's super cheap. So talking about costs, moving into the cost, as you can see, it's only 12,000 stones, 2,500 wood and about 250 high qual with the upkeep of 38 high qual, 1,700 stones and 282 metal frags. Now obviously you need to add a bit onto that for the door cost and the deployables, but that stuff's pretty easy to get over time once the base is nice and secure. Now as well as it being super cheap and super small, I still wanted to make it hard to raid, so it's a 19 rocket raid through Honeycomb and then through the bunker, that's the weakest point. So you could easily extend off that, add some sheet metal honeycomb instead of stone honeycomb, or maybe add another layer of stone honeycomb and not even add any sheet metal at all. But if you guys do go on to enjoy this base build and you like what you see, be sure to drop a sub and a like down below trying to hit 1000 subscribers before the end of the year so every sub helps me out but anyway let's not waste any more time and get straight into the walkthrough now one coming through the front sheet metal door as you can see there's a garage door open already and another one just behind it i've left open garage doors to save time through the next garage door as you can see two large boxes two sleeping bags and a small box for redeployment gear sets or drop boxes as well as another two large boxes and small box above that for more redeploy sets and drop boxes then moving into the next area, we have a large box and a small box, perfect for tools, ores and everything like that, as well as your pure smelting room with some open garage doors to save time as always. And then into the final bunker, two large boxes on the floor as well as a sleeping bag, one small box hidden under the level two, tool cupboard and then above it, three large boxes. That's everything for the walkthrough, everything you need to know about the base. Let's get straight into the base build. To start off building this base, you want to place down a single square foundation and around it put three solid four walls with half walls on top. Now in the one area where you haven't placed four walls, place a half wall and then a four wall on top of that and then get rid of the half wall down the bottom. Now building out of this area, you want to put one singular low triangle and then a high triangle each side of it. Then on top of that, you want to build this build out with a half floor and then a triangle floor. So then inside the bunker, you can place this triangle floor. Now this area needs to be upgraded now. So upgrade it to whatever material you can afford at this time. I'm going to go to high cost since that's going to be the end goal. And then you just want to place these three boxes down. Place them in the exact way I do and then it's going to be the easiest to loot them from below. The only reason we're placing these now is if you want to place them later. It's going to be a real pain to place them later since obviously your bunker is going to be sealed off. It's going to have a roof on it and these top three boxes will just be impossible to place. And then finally just seal that off with a roof. Now as I've just said everything we've built now is going to be upgraded to high qual in the end. So you can go to sheet metal, you can just go to stern. But I'd recommend going straight at high qual since this is the design of the base and this will make it as strong as possible. Next to build the walkway for the base and all the door locations, start by building this high triangle foundation with a square foundation next to it and then two more triangle foundations low down. Next we're going to place this single doorway on the end just here and then follow me around the entire base just adding a wall everywhere. Starting off with four walls going all the way back towards the bunker area. Now on this area where it's lower we're actually going to add a half wall here, go to the front door, add these two triangle floors and then another half wall here. And then we're going to sealing off the entire walkway so everything's sealed off. Next you just want to place these two triangle foundations near the front door of the base as well as this array square foundation. Now on the two triangles and the square foundation all you want to do is just honeycomb it up. So basically add walls, half walls, floors. Just make sure both honeycombs on the triangles as well as the square foundation reaches the ceiling of the high quality metal bunker because we don't want any of the bunker basically shown from the outside since that will be the weakest point then. Now continuing on with not showing the bunker on the roof we're going to add these half walls with a ceiling on top that will make the roof stronger and then finally obviously the raised foundations on the other side of the base we want to add triangles off there and honeycomb those up to the height of the ceiling once again so the bunker is hidden as well as it's up to the height of the ceiling. 
Now everything we just placed, you want to upgrade this to stone. Well, that's where I'd go up to before I expand the base even more. However, if you want to expand the base more and make it stronger, obviously, maybe upgrade this to sheep out if you want to, or leave it stone and just add another layer of honeycomb. Next, we are going to seal off the base, so start by slapping a single sheet metal door on the front. Then throughout the rest of the base, we're going to go through and put double door frames in, and we are going to upgrade these to stone, so then we can put our garage doors on throughout the entire base. So just go ahead, put a garage door on every single double door frame spot and every spot possible. Now onto the item placement and starting in the bunker room. We need a tool cupboard, so we're going to place a tool cupboard down in this right corner, and then to the left of it, we're going to have a level 2 workbench. Now under the level 2 workbench we're going to have a small box, pull that forward, you'll see why in a minute. And then to the right we're going to have a large box here with another large box here wedged next to the large box and the left side wall. Just make sure you can loot the small box through the little gap of the level 2 and the large box. And then finally we're going to place a sleeping bag down here. Also right here just make sure you can place a small half wall otherwise you won't be able to seal up the bunker later on. Now outside of the bunker, starting in this triangle room here, this is going to have three furnaces in it. This is obviously going to be the main furnace room for good stuff like sulfur. However, going along this entire wall here, we're going to have furnaces going all of the way around. Now in this little drop down area here, above it you can actually add a shelf where you can place two large boxes and a small box on just like I'm doing. You can use the furnaces to help you to make it a lot easier. Then below that we're going to place a large box wedged in this corner with another large box next to it, two sleeping bags and another small box. Then back up by the furnace is we have room here for a sleeping bag so if you want to place a sleeping bag here feel free to do so. And then finally you can actually place a shelf here as well where you can put stuff like ores in this large box and small box. Like I would just use this for ores, tools and all stuff like that, it's actually perfect for it. But anyway guys, that's actually been it for the base build. I hope you do enjoy the design. If you did enjoy the design, be sure to drop a like and a sub down below. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. If there's anything you didn't like about it, be sure to comment that down below as well because I do like improving my base designs and everything helps. But anyway guys, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you see some of my future videos and peace out.